I spent, when I was 10 years old, half of my paper route money playing pinball. The papers would be delivered to Kelowna, 18 miles away from Iowa City, and the paper route boys and girls would, would meet at, the, at a location to pick up the papers, right? It was a laundromat. And so after school, we'd go to the laundromat while we're waiting. What are we doing? We're drinking pop. Pop's a big deal. And we're playing pinball because that's what existed. There weren't video games yet. There's no phones. There's no iPhone. And so uh, that was my, so like older kids, you watch them play. You learn a little bit. Oh, then you want to play it, right? It doesn't cost very much to play. So literally half of my money went into, that I earned at, at 10 years old with my paper route, went into, into pinball games. I got into this, uh, to the, to the coin operated business by making video games. And in, in the early 80s, the video game, coin operated video boom, just was like, push. Uh, I had gone to college to become an architect. I always loved blueprints and the design and how things came together. And it was just this beautiful piece of something that was functional, but it was artistic too. I mean, you know, art building form and function. And so I thought I would do that. Um, you know, long, you know, long story short, I, um, I went to the University of Iowa and an Aladdin's castle was built across, you know, like it's a, a, across from campus. And I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. And I'd already been doing a little bit of programming. I see this video game, you know, all these games at Aladdin's Castle. Oh, they have microprocessors in them? I know how to do that. I'm going to do that. That's what I want to do. And so uh, for the first, uh, from the time that I graduated in 82 to about 86, 87, well, incredible technologies. I've worked at video, different video game companies. Um, the, the company, Incredible Technologies, was the first software uh, arm of this company. When this company started in 1986 um, or 85, or that, or that, they did not have um, uh, a software arm, and they farmed that out. And the company I was working for, um, Incredible Technologies, uh, came to me and said, um, hey, do you want to work on this game? I'm like, yeah, you know, I've been doing, I've been playing these games since I was 10. And so that was um, in 86. And then I eventually came here in 91 and been working here for 25 years. So 30 years of making pinball games are in these fingers. And um, so that's what I do. Hey, I'm Lonnie Robb. I'm a software engineer here at Stern Pinball. And I want to just say one thing, please support this 30th anniversary coffee table book that's coming that you're gonna be looking at here in a second. It is awesome.